Give it a thumbs up. What's up, guys? Uh, me and Bailey getting on our uh, travel to Wadsworth, Ohio from, where are we? Tempe, Arizona? Tempe, Arizona. Baby. Looking at the engineering of Route 66. Got a cat up here. Uh, Originally commissioned on November 11, 1926, Route 66 became the first national highway to cross the Midwestern part of the country from east to west. Historians agree it consists of approximately 2,448 miles from Grant Park in Chicago, Illinois, to the Santa Monica Pier in Santa Monica, California. The route winds through eight states, Illinois, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and California. Its primary purpose was to get crops to market, move natural resources to factories, and distribute consumer goods to people. This bridge I'm sitting under has been out of commission for 50 years. Back in the day, a lot of trains would pass underneath Route 66 with no trouble. Nowadays, it's out, it serves as a side street landmark. Although Bailey and I were unable to travel directly on Route 66 the entire trip, it amazed both of us that some of the original road and bridges were still drivable today. Right now I'm standing on Carano Canyon Bridge. Although the engineers built it many years ago, the bridge still stands to this day. It allows travelers to travel the original Route 66. There are many parts of the old Route 66 that have been ruled out of commission due to the poor driving condition. However, Bailey and I traveled on parts of the route that are still available to travelers today. What's up guys? Me and Bailey. Right there. There he is. We are actually walking on the Route 66. We just saw a original bridge in Sepulpa, Oklahoma. It is hot today. Uh, but it's pretty cool. I mean, the bridge is shut down to the public, but you can uh, still walk on it. There's a creek underneath. You can maybe even jump off, get a nice little swim in. Although bumpy at times, we put the windows down, popped our shades on, and let the beauty of Route 66 take our breaths away. We stopped at many bridges that showed how engineering from the 20s can still be used today. However, without the modern day advancements in engineering with the interstates, traveling would take a lot longer. While driving on Interstate 40, you could almost always see Route 66 in plain sight. However, it is clear why the government decided to engineer an interstate. It is quicker to drive on a three-lane highway instead of a two-lane road where the speed limit is 45 miles per hour. However, by traveling on Route 66, I felt as if I was seeing the real America. Mexico. Man, this place is nuts. You can see behind me the old hotel. Coming up on an old cafe. It's abandoned. Everything. This is a ghost town. I haven't seen a single person. I want to say like a good hour and a half because we've been traveling down Route 66. And it's a dirt road, so you got to take it slow, 25, maybe 30. The creation of Interstate 40 was the beginning of the end for Route 66. Behind me stands what used to be Cobalt's gas station in Foss, Oklahoma. Foss used to be a major stop on Route 66. This building is one of the few that still stands to this day. With everyone traveling down the interstate, businesses and towns on Route 66 had no other choice than to close down. Some of these old gas stations and buildings have been renovated into national landmarks or even restaurants like Kelly's Food and Pub. During our travel, we got the opportunity to stop at several of these abandoned towns and monuments that once thrived back in the day. Traveling down Route 66, you can really get the old town feel. Some businesses, like Kelly's Brew and Pub, came into the original buildings and didn't touch a thing. It makes you feel like you're really traveling back in time. Driving on Route 66 is something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Creating a road that stretches across the United States requires a lot of complex thinking, communication skills, and most importantly, patience. 
Although I did not see Mater and Lightning McQueen in Radiator Springs, I saw many national landmarks that took my breath away. I still get nightmares from that ghost town on the Texas border.